dear students now we are going to discuss about a circular thin plate so in this problem a circular thin plate of 50 mm is resting on vp and it is inclined 45 degree to vp and the diameter has been making 30 degree to hp see students here the plane inclination has been given for 45 degree and then the side inclination being given for 30 degree so here it has been inclined with respect to vp so automatically what happens on your front view you will be getting your true shape okay so first i will be starting your diagram on your front view so you have been already familiar how to draw your xy line and your title block i just clicked your circle so your diameter is 50 so i have to draw for a radius of 25 i just click my center point and i have just entered your radius as 25 So I have drawn your circle. I have to divide it into eight equal parts. So I'll be just clicking your line once again. Okay. So I'll be just selecting these two lines. I'll be making a copy with respect to the center point, and I'll be rotating these lines to forty-five degree with respect to center point. Once again, I'll be moving it. Just selected it, and I'll be just moving, and I just placed your midpoint. Now I divide it into eight equal parts. I'll be just changing your line thickness as point three five. Okay, so I have to just mention with your alphabet. So for the text, so it will be your A dash. Okay, just uh, make a copy of this. So here it will be our A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, F dash, G dash, and H dash. So I will just rename it by double clicking it. B followed by your C. Followed by your D, E, F, G, and H. Now I have to project your lines. So from this point, I am just drawing a 90 degree line to your x y. So I am just drawing a line from each and every points. Okay. So now I have to draw a joint line. So join by point, 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 students. Then only we can able to get your points easily. So I'll be changing your line thickness as point three five. Once again, I have to make your alphabet. So I'll just making a copy over here. This will be your A point. Okay. So when view from this direction, we're just making a copy. Press it over here. It will be H dash on your bracket. It will be your B dash. Okay. So here we will be having much alphabet. So I will be placing each and everybody. It will be closer to this. This will be your H and B since it is on your top view. So once again, I will be making a copy of this. This will be your. And your last point. I'll be just editing it. So this will be your G, C. Here it will be your F and D. F on your bracket D. Your last point will be your E point. 
ok now I have to inclined for an angle of 45 degree so I just selected everything make a copy with your base point and I just placed it over here then I have just selected it rotate to 45 degree just select it rotate your base point I just rotate to 45 degree now I have to just project your lines so be careful while projecting your line students you have to select your corner points correctly otherwise you won't get your lines ok so for that what I am going to do is I am going to just zoom this window only this window so it will be easy for me for projection so I just clicked your line over here see move it over here you have to get your box intersection points ok so you will be getting midpoints everything see we have to concentrate only on your box point so I just drawn over here next it will you have to search for my box point see your box only indicates your point students other things is, doesn't indicate your joints so kindly be careful you have to project only at your box points ok next similarly on your horizontal direction so from each and every point I will be just projecting it so after projecting it we are going to join with your spline command we won't use your other commands so now I am going to use your command spline enter I will be just selecting my first point second point third fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth I will be joining to this point after joining it just press your enter if you are not pressing your enter your command will be moved so just click your spline once again I will be repeating for you first point second point see be careful with your point students you have to adjust your intersection point only ok see I just connecting your only your intersection point otherwise your diagram will be wrong so I just selected your intersection points so at last I got my circle after completing it just press your enter ok so I have to just change your line thickness as 0.35 ok I will be just making your window so it will be easy for us to create my alphabet so I will be making a copy of your alphabet a point your B, C, D, E, F, G and your H so I will be just editing it we are given it is your B C D E F G your last H ok now I have to make a copy to rotate it to 30 degree I will be selecting these contents make a copy and be clear when you are copying students so yeah I have just selected your content make a copy see to that you select all your contents so I have selected it ok next I will be just drawing a reference line to connect these points see this is very very important students
otherwise it will be very difficult to us ok so what I am going to do is I will be just selecting your lines and I will be taking this point also as a reference line and I will be making a copy so it will be easy for me so I will be just selecting this point ok so I just make a selection point now what I have to do is I want to just trim your excess line so I just draw a line over here so trim your excess line see you can see this line has been extra so I just trimmed it ok now see students I will be just zooming your window so I need only this part to be zoomed so I will be having a concentration only at this area now I have to tilt this diagram to 30 degree so select everything rotate about this base point to 30 degree ok now once again I will be drawing a line ok I have just rotated this line to 30 degree with respect to this base point ok so now I will be just selecting these contents and I will be moving it and placing it over here so next I have to just go for my projection ok so you have to be very careful with your projection students you have to draw your perpendicular line to your xy at each and every points so i have to just draw your from a point similarly from your b point similarly from your c point see you can clearly get your intersection point for that I will be just zooming your window so it will be easy for you so that it will be easy to understand kindly go through it carefully I have to get your at your intersection points see you can clearly see I will be just selecting only when I get an into mark here you have to also very careful with your alphabet students so while you are assembling you have to be very careful with your alphabets see this is your into marks your last h now similarly i will be going for your x y direction 1 2 and your last point ok so just zoom this window so it will be easy for us for your projection here also we are going to join with your normal only see I will be just making a copy uh, alphabet so we are going to place it correctly ok so where it has been intersecting that is very very important students just check it over here so I have a A point over here, I have a A point over here, I have just to place this is my A point, ok, similarly B, over here it will be your B, just double click it and change it as B, ok, similarly your C, your C has been over here and it has been over here, this is your C intersection point, ok. So I will be just making a copy and I will be placing it over here so I have to be very careful with your markings otherwise it will be difficult to you as this will be your C ok similarly D is over here and your D point is over here so make a copy I will be having my D point over here
so if you feel difficulty you can do another thing also so i just make a copy so initial is e f g h so initial itself you have a edit over here so then you can make a move e f g and h so that you can easily move it so your e point is over here and your e point is over here i just selected this move the base point here is your e point similarly select your f move so your f is over here and your f is over here over here so i'll be just moving your f point okay f now e so i have my e f over now i'll be going for my g so your g is over here and over here so i'll be just placing it over here similarly your last your h so i'll be just clicking over here i'll be getting your h at this point so once again you have to be very clear with your joining so i have to use your spline command only see before your spline also just check the your points here see your a point is over here your a point is over here so this is my first point similarly b is over here okay b is over here b similarly c is over here and my c is being over here so c point similarly d from this point to this point then a is over here yeah yeah g point over g point over here then your h point last your a point after that just press your enter just select it and change your line thickness as 0.35 okay now i have to mark your diameter for that dim style click modify on your symbols and arrow size your arrow size should be 4 your text your text size should be 5 your primary unit should be precision 0.00 okay and close now we are going to mark your diameter so click diameter of here just select the circle you can see your diameter of your circle has been mentioned then you have to mark your angle so for that what i have to use is i have to use your angular see i just click these two lines you can see i just mark your angular 45 similarly over here it has been 30 okay so with this i wind up your projection of plane problem with a circular lamina thank you all